For this month's tip, I want to share with you a little trick that I do when I'm flashing. Flashing, as you know, is available in my mentorship video series program, but right now I'm going to give you a little free tip of how I use a water-soluble pen to help me guide exactly where I want to flash the paper. So I'm going to go through the exposure sequence here on this particular print, and you're going, we're going to see right now, we're going to see seven seconds of green light, which is the soft contrast light. I'm going to do some, some burning. You can see that there was a, dark, a, a very dark strip there that's going to produce very, very light. What I want to do is I want to put more density there through burning and also through flashing. So I'm going to, I'm going to burn it for almost two, two stops, 17 seconds. I've already built this little card that's going to allow me to direct the light exactly where I want it. So I get myself lined up to the problem area. I get down nice and close, reset the timer, and I just keep moving the card so that there's not going to be any trace of uh, what I've been doing. One of the buildings is a little hotter, so I'm going to just focus in on, on keying, getting that area a little darker. And we're on to the uh, flashing part. The card is going to come with me, but the little, the water soluble dry erase pen is going to come into effect right now. So I take the tape off, and I already have lined up these two little black marks. I take the dry erase pen on the enlarging paper that's already been exposed, and I just put little black marks in the area that I want to control. Now I'm going to take the piece of paper over to the enlarger that flashes. It's set up to flash. So I can see those black marks very clearly. I have a foot switch over here and I'm just going to direct that flashing light down to that area and nowhere else because we know that green light is contrast killing so why should I flash the entire paper when I can direct it to just a certain area that I want to control. Alright now I'm going to take the print that you just saw me work on flash and burn and we're going to come over here and process it for two minutes and we're going to compare it with a print that is a straight print and you're going to see what the manipulation has done. The print goes in it for two minutes at uh, 10 seconds here now we're going to process the print for two full minutes and we'll get to see, we'll get to compare the two prints. So what I want to be very specific about is as soon as the paper goes in the developer I can wash the water soluble pen marks right off very quickly. So there's no evidence of white spots being left on the, uh, on the print because of a magic marker. Because it's water soluble it just goes away. So I just want to talk a little bit about the pen. So when this piece of paper is under the enlarger and it, the image is projected onto it, we see the exact image that's on the paper. We know exactly where we want to burn and dodge and hold light from because of the image projected on the paper. When you take that paper and now bring it over to the flashing station, all you have is a blank piece of white paper. You don't know where the, exactly where these problem areas are. So with this water-soluble marker, I've transferred the, the problem areas from the print, from the projected image, onto the paper right here. Blank piece of paper, I take it over to the uh, flashing enlarger and I direct the light within that general area of those black marks. As long as I keep the flashing card moving, we're not going to see any evidence of it whatsoever. I'm done with the flashing component. I bring it over to the developer. It goes in the developer and very, very quickly, as soon as the paper is wet, I take my fingers and the black water soluble marks come right off. The print develops to full density that the projected uh, negative put on there. Now, now I'm going to show you, that this is a straight print and you can see the problem area right here. There's an awful lot of density. <laughs> Okay, so on the left you can see the print that's been manipulated. We've flashed it and we've burned it. 
The print on the right is the straight print with that ex shows you where the problem areas are during a 20 minute exposure at uh, actually 9 o'clock at night. Um, so what the water soluble pen has allowed me to do is, is target a very precise area to flash. Remember, when the print is under the enlarger, we have the projected image to direct light to exact positions because of the projected image. Now you take that piece of blank paper, it's yet to be developed, and we're going to take it over to another enlarger light source to flash. Without the benefit of this water soluble marker, I won't know exactly what area that I want to flash. And I've flashed three or four different areas of prints all with this water soluble marker as long as it's on the edge it's become a very valuable tool and as you've seen in the pre, uh, prior part of the video once it comes over to the developer and it hits the actual water solution with my two fingers I just rub it and it comes right off stay tuned for more video tips in the future